Let's continue our journey into Windows API and learn some more about manipulating the console. And also, learn about handles. So, what is a handle? Well, think of it like a special variable that Windows gives you to refer to a Windows object, and there are all kinds of handles. For example, you need a handle to a process if you want to read from that process's memory. You ask Windows for the handle, along with permissions, and after you are done, you tell Windows that you don't need it anymore. For now, we will be doing something much easier. We just want to access the console's buffer. To do that, we need to call this function. Then, by calling set console text attributes, you can change the colors of the next letters to be displayed. The second parameter is the color code, and you can just search it on web or just open a console and type color question mark to get a table describing all the codes. Before we move on, I'll just mention that these are the lines that you need in order to open a console when using WinMain. This is nice because now you can choose if you want a console or not programmatically. Now, I hope you did the homework from the last video because now we will learn some new things to improve on it. So, system CLS seems to be quite slow. Instead of cleaning the screen, you can just redraw over it. Using the set console cursor position function, you can set the right cursor at the beginning and redraw your game from there. Using set console cursor info, you can also get rid of the cursor indicator. The result looks like this, and your first homework is to add this improvement to the game you made in the last tutorial. Now I have something else to show you. It is also possible to set your own console buffer directly or write to the current console buffer using Windows API using these functions. Your second homework is to experiment with these functions and explore the documentation yourself. See if you find something interesting that you can use for your project. Why do you think scene.get doesn't work anymore in the second version? And by the way, I'm expecting you to glance at the documentation for all of the functions that I show you. And you are doing that, aren't you? Also, if you are brave enough, you could try to implement your own printf function. I think that could be a great exercise. Okay, in the next video, I will talk about errors, so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss that out. And also consider becoming a member of my channel if you want to support me. And you will also get to see this tutorial series a little earlier if you do that. See you in the next one.